welcome back to techno surgeon youtube channel so models are able to do something basically uh, nvidia's re resizable bar support has been enabled on nvidia Turing with its an uefi mod which is nvstars rebar and rebar is essentially like your cpu gets full access to the gpu's memory so essentially it's not getting access to just system memory but also vram in your gpu uh, this just helps to load data faster in gaming and stuff like that and now this mod is essentially able to do the thing which RTX 30 series and 40 series only supports so basically Turing architecture now supports resizable power with this mod and it's relatively easy but it's only support GTX 16 and RTX 20 series and no more GTX 10 series also Pascal as of now it's not but it might happen in the future but it's nice to see and do not it will just void your warranty if you install this custom firmware. <coughs> Next up, Copilot 7 Kimi has tweeted out that GB200 is half of GB202. GB203 is half of GB202, and just like GB102 was half of GB100, but I don't know if GB202 has a multi chip package. So, what it essentially means like GB200 is Blackwell architecture, we know it already but since gb202 will be having will be made with for rtx 14 5090 gb203 will be that for rtx 5080 and if it's half of g half of gb202 then rtx 5080 will have a massive difference because it will it will it is essentially have half of the cuda course of rtx 5090 so it will essentially be a major difference and combined with multiple sources it confirms that the gaming flagship of ada next which is essentially blackware will have a 512 bit bus so rtx 5090 will come with 512 bit bus to which the one, uh, user asked that a 384 wide bus interface will respond will correspondingly faster to gddr7 would be sufficiently fast the question is what speed is available for gddr7 at the start and he says like 28 gigabits per second which is to be expected because the model starts from 16 gigabits per second to as high as 32 and 32 gigabits per second according to jdx and no one will use like 32 gigabits per second module so it will essentially be 28 gigabits per second but if you combine it with 512 bit bus with rtx 5090 on rtx 5090 with 512 bit bus and also 28 gigabits per second gddr7 module it's essentially going to be one instant of an uplift compared to rtx 4090 but at the same time he says something about rtx 1580 also since rtx 5080 is based on gb203 and it's essentially half so the performance difference between rtx 5080 will be significantly lower compared to rtx 5090 right now the problem is rtx 4080 is essentially same performance kind of same performance if you if you overclock it to rtx 4090 so nvidia is planning to make the difference pretty significant with 50 series with the blackwell architecture which is to be expected and yeah which is to be expected from nvidia at this point and yeah and the leaks is also rumoring rumors are also pointing that rtx 5090 is going to be 2000 bucks so yeah this performance uplift at 2000 bucks is to be expected and essentially it is going to be a bigger jump in performance compared to like the ada ada loveless gps there was essentially less performance uplift compared to rtx 4080 and 5090 and the, yeah next gen also in nvidia's geforce gpus next gen specs has been leaked as tweeted out by copite 7 kimi and yeah or he previously stated like he was not so sure about 512 bit bus but now he can confirm it like gb202 will come with 512 bit bus which is insane like I, we thought previously like 384 will be max for this generation but they are going all in nvidia is literally going all in with rtx 5090 and it is going to be a monstrous gpu coming out and since amd is not planning to launch a high-end gpu we don't know anything about it but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out